and sealed by a judge in former President Trump's election interference case. And it, it really laid out the case from Jack Smith that uh, Donald Trump, as he puts it, engaged in criminal acts to stay in power. And he laid out this scheme, he says, was to overturn the will of the voters. I do want to ask you, given you're a member of Congress, as we look ahead to the next ele election, your role is critical in certifying the results of the election. And I just want to ask you, can you commit to a peaceful transfer of power after every state has certified its election results? Well, Pam, I mean, you know, a, a couple of things there to un unpack that uh, question. One, it makes no sense except for a political motivation uh, that Jack Smith and the judge unsealed this before the Trump campaign even had a chance to respond. They were given to mid-October uh, to, to respond. Number two, the reason he's filing a superseding indictment is that the Supreme Court ruled uh, mm -hmm. that the official acts uh, did not allow this uh, into the realm of criminal activity. This is politically driven. It's being done deliberately in the weeks before. And I got to tell you, uh, I got to tell you, I'm not hearing from a single constituent any concerns about this. It's the inflation, the economy, the border, crime, and the world that's in that's in chaos. And that's the reason that the Harris campaign abandoned all of this after Biden right, but that's, but I'm tried to make such a big deal. Forward. But look, I'm not asking about what look, voters going are going to Absolutely, on. we have to have a peaceful transition. And I'll point out, as J.D. Vance just pointed out, President Trump had his concerns. Well, he <laughs> pursued them in court, but he left, he left uh, before January 20th on his own accord. So to say, uh, to say otherwise, but he also pressured or his to, vice president to overturn the, the, you know, the will of the voters, and he, he pressured his vice president <laughs> and state to officials take a view to, so, of a very, of a very uh, uh, vague law that has since been that the Congress since stepped in uh, and clarified. Okay, no. Um, but but just, we did. The Electoral <laughs> Count Act, Pam. I mean, Pence, the, the, the Electoral Count Act did in. not allow the vice president to overturn the will of the people. But really quickly, just to be well, clear, we will commit to a peaceful so transfer vague. of power. That was so vague that that's why the Congress stepped in to clarify that. Because it was of what January 6th law. happened. And, okay, but listen, will you commit to a peaceful Pam, transfer we've of had, power? We've I had did. protests. We've had protests that have exploded into riots all over this country, including in Minneapolis, including in Portland. So I don't think you necessarily okay, but, draw the causality. Uh, but at the end of the day, yes, yes, we okay. should have peaceful transfer of power in this country. Absolutely. And you will certify, uh, and you will certify the results of every state certifies yeah. the results. Okay. If it is a free and fair election, absolutely. Well, what does that mean? Democrats... What does a free and fair election mean? 2020 was a free and fair election, and members of Congress tried to overturn the results. Ask, so what does that mean to you? Ask Hillary, well, ask Hillary Clinton when she said Trump no. was not a legitimate president. Being a he was poor selected No, no, no. Being elected. a poor loser, and by the being way, a Pam, sore loser, we which Democrats about have this. been, is different we from trying to overturn the We talked about this in 2021. We talked about this, you and I, in 2021. I voted to certify. Others didn't. They had their concerns, but we worked things out in the courts, and we worked things out in debate. There should never be a riot. Uh, and at the end of the day, we had Joe Biden come in as president. So, All right. I, I, yeah, so Jack Smith has a political motivation, and I think that's crystal clear. And, and you have every right to make that, that argument. Representative Tim Waltz. Thank All you right. so much. Nice to have you on. Mike Waltz. Mike Waltz. Oh Thank my you. God, Mike.